Peter Vey, 1863-1948, a count and revered clergyman in Hungary, was greatly admired not only by Hungarians but also by prominent figures of his time, including Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of India, and Emperor Yoshihito of Japan. Hungarian historical records suggest that he possessed a unique ability to read people's minds and was particularly skilled in astrology and prophetic dreams, predicting the future with remarkable accuracy. At the age of 16, he claimed to have received a revelation from an angel, foretelling both world wars, and later precisely predicted the downfall of the Austro-Hungarian Empire and the dissolution of the Hungarian Kingdom, which gained him worldwide attention. Peter Vey was deeply trusted by Pope Leo XIII and participated in Queen Victoria's Diamond Jubilee alongside the Pope. From 1899 to 1919, he traveled extensively representing the Vatican, visiting numerous countries in Central America, Southeast Asia, China, and Japan. Hungarian historical texts recount his profound impression of the rich traditions and cultures of East Asia, particularly Korea. Vey visited Korea several times and is recorded to have been the first Hungarian to meet Emperor Gojong in 1902. During his 1902 audience with Emperor Gojong, Vey reportedly warned about Korea's future, saying, The rising sun from the south will engulf this land and move towards the continent. And this will happen soon. The land of Joseon has been imbued with divine energy since ancient times. All the great powers of Europe and Asia recognize the value of this land, knowing that they can only become the center of the world by acquiring it. Quote, to support the revival of the Korean Empire, they wrote extensively about Korean culture and history, making the previously little-known country known in Europe. His book, first published in Hungarian in 1906, was so popular that it was translated into German and French within a year, gaining significant attention and respect among European intellectuals and the upper class. Vey's admiration for Koreans was evident in his writings. The people here are very good-hearted and pure-minded. The Korean nation has refined tastes, and their art is incredibly charming. I have never seen such nobility in any other country. As I predicted in the past, Busan has become the final stop of the luxurious international trains departing from Paris and Berlin, and they are achieving modern accomplishments at a remarkable pace. Quote. Regarding Ito Hirobumi, he noted, Although Ito Hirobumi may be a patriotic figure, he is a cruel and ruthless person. He will ultimately meet his demise because of the coercion he imposed on the people of Joseon. Despite Japan's strict control, they will never be able to dominate the great people of Joseon indefinitely, as the pride of the Koreans is far stronger than that of the Japanese invaders. Quote. They also predicted. God will punish Japan twice with spears of fire. When the first spear falls, the people of Japan will weep, and when the second spear falls, the emperor will weep. Joseon will regain its sovereignty, and this event will undoubtedly occur in August 1945. Quote, Remarkably, Korea achieved liberation on August 15, 1945, precisely as Vey had predicted. In 1977, his prophecies, written between 1902 and 1928, were mysteriously rediscovered in an old warehouse of a Hungarian church and are now preserved in the Hungarian National Archives. Recently, the Hungarian government announced Father Peter Vey's diaries are letters to the Korean people written a hundred years ago, documenting the noble pride of Koreans that remained unbroken during tumultuous times. Quote, the government disclosed parts of his sixth diary, which intriguingly detailed future global changes in Korea's role. Through an angelic revelation in Oyama a few days ago, I vividly learned about the future of the Korean peninsula a hundred years from now. By 2020, the world order will enter a new cycle, affecting global politics, economics, and culture. Existing systems will gradually collapse, and a new foundation will be laid. By 2027, the peak of contradictions will be reached, and a black dragon will spew fire. Thousands of fiery spears will fall on Japan, burning all forests and drying up all waters, leaving the land barren. During this time, the world will be engulfed in flames, and the sun will disappear, turning the sky black. Hidden fires will rise one by one, and the world will become so chaotic that most people will vanish. However, by 2028, this process will conclude, and the center of the world will shift from Europe and the Atlantic to East Asia, Siberia, and the South Pacific. The survivors will experience a life never seen before. Koreans will lead this transformation, 
with Incheon, the East Coast, and Busan playing pivotal roles, experiencing explosive population growth. Quote, the Black Dragon symbolizes certain Asian countries, and the Seven Horns and the Sun represent opposing forces in Japan, respectively. Koreans riding the dragon's head signifies Korea leading Asia to prosperity. The prediction of significant changes in East Asia around 2027 suggests a period of great upheaval.